Hello YouTube, we're starting to clean this thing up. Ain't that something I buy all these cheap tools and I have to redo them? <laughs> it is fun though. Uh, it's worth it. Uh, we've been taking our wood chisel. These are just cheap Harbor Freight. They're not no Stanley Air Family Heirloom. And this is Mulberry with just a cheap wooden dowel from the home supply stores. I had a video on this. That's such a handy thing. Don't pound on these with a regular hammer, even though they're cheap. And I'm not worried about dulling. I can always resharpen it somewhat. I'm not an expert at sharpening chisels, but uh, this is a before. See that? It's pretty nasty. So we'll pause enough on this. Uh, we do plan on wet sand this. With the Harbor Freight, we'll show that maybe Sunday in the shop video what we got for sandpaper or whatever and include it. Some 1,000 grit or whatever and 1,200. We got two kinds like the 1,000. Got like maybe like some 500. We're going to wet sand this. Even though some of the paint comes off, it is just so gross looking. Uh, we're not going to try to take it all off. But uh, in this video, by the time we're done, you'll see that sharpened too. So let's get going. Let's talk more work. Another quick clip. And be careful, this is the end grain, what they call it. I'm using this knife to scrape this up like this to get this varnish off we don't want to remove the wood but we will sand it because that is really rough so real quick like 15 second clips on some of this stuff uh, and it will be sanding when i'm done you'll see how nice and smooth it looks show what side of the head is so i remember okay back to work okay another quick clip can you tell the difference between the varnish in there you know you're starting to sand this down smooth the varnish just clogs up stuff. I'm just using one of my work knives. I mean, this is a good knife. It's not razor sharp, but it's one of my work knives I keep at my desk. I used to carry it. Uh, protect the edge. And I'm wearing, see that thick leather glove? Insulated. Those are warm. That's great for working on the wood stove and carrying in wood. Sidetrack. There you go. Back to work. Okay, today's a new day. Let's get what I want to show you here. My sandpaper. This sandpaper over here. Uh, we've been scraping the varnish off. This is like two coats of oil. Linseed oil. This is the end grain. We want to suck it up. Hickory is like little miniature straws. I might be able to get a picture to show you that. Uh, get this funky look. Looks like little bitty dots or dashes. Like in here. That's because it wasn't sand or worth a hoot. Uh, they're cheating on here. Not complaining for the price. They're throwing varnish on this stuff and it's not smooth at all. It's not sanded properly at all. Uh, like I said, this came this way with these nicks and gouges. Okay. We got this side mostly sanded. We're we're gonna you'll be able to hear it if you can't if you can't see it. Hear that? That's been sanded. Five hundred grit sandpaper. I do have some eighty grit. So I want to show you, I chopped up one of my sanding belts for my belt sander, okay? Now, here's the direction of arrow how this flows. It can fold this way, of course, you know how it rolls on the belt sander. But, don't go this way because it will, here it crack. See, don't do it that way, it's not meant to do it. Uh, be aware of doing this, though, after I scrape the varnish because you will leave deep scratches. And it's a lot of work because I have no other spiner. This is... I have no 200 or nothing. Or I mean, all I got is 500 and 600. So, I'm really careful using this. You see where that varnish is gummed and plugged out? That was leftover varnish. And spots where the wood was nasty. Like here, this was all raised up. When I was scraping this, I was catching this wood where it was feathered. So, I had to go back this direction. And you'll know when you're down the wood, you'll see that it's wood. That's why I'm kind of, you know... But we'll, we'll, we'll have you listen. Okay, this has been smooth. Okay, we're going to go to the other side where it's still got the varnish. Hear that? I'm sure you can hear that. Nasty. Okay, we're not trying to make this too long a video. I'm just sanding this down and oil it. So I want to show you what I use. This is one of my little homemade knives, like a neck knife. Made for a butcher knife. Now you can use this. This is one of my homemade ones made from a saw blade. Uh, it was like a miter saw blade, so it's different than a hand saw. A little bit different type of steel. But 
You got to be careful though, because when you go like this to scrape, you're going to put a little mark in there, which this paper does not want to get out because it's that deep. Uh, and so when you keep going like this all the time, I try to go like this. I lay my knife, then I bring it up, and I'm pulling it, holding it like this, and I have the axe towards me, okay? And I'm pulling the varnish off. So we're going to stop here and give you one little clip of that. Then we'll be back to work to keep this video short.